Yes, well, I think that there are two specific roles. You can see two different positionings from operators. One is the operator that goes vertical, i.e. meaning that they're trying to offer a vertical solution uh, from an end-to-end -end perspective. The other uh, position is that the operator goes horizontal. Rather than to offer specific end-to-end -end solutions, they partner with lots of different players to offer an end-to-end solution. Uh, those are the two general um, strategies that operators are implementing. The Tele2 approach is to go horizontal uh, and to offer end-to-end uh, -end solutions together with best-of-breed partners. And this is our go-to-market strategy, and we, we believe that it's uh, the best from a couple of perspectives. One is that the customer gets the best solutions for their specific requirements and needs. And we're also not cannibalizing on the revenue of the partners. Obviously, if we would venture into each and every vertical, of course, we would not have any partners anymore. Well, of course, this is something that we do on a daily basis. Uh, one uh, recent customer that we just signed up was a um, large industrial uh, company. They, they build large wel uh, welding machines. So you can imagine these huge machines where you ship them to shipyards or uh, some sort of factory welding pieces together. Of course, in this specific instance, uh, they had two different requirements. One was that they wanted to automate a lot of their business processes to make sure that they had the right spare part at the right time within the factory during the manufacturing process. The other part of that, of course, is also they want to move away from selling welding as a product to selling welding as a service. Now, when you move away from a product to a service, you have to be able to deliver uptime. To deliver uptime and to understand how the machine is working, you need IoT solutions. So, of course, that's just one of hundreds and hundreds of examples uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. Well, I think, you know, uh, we've been in this market now for several years. Uh, we've grown um, our customer base. We're growing our partner base. We're going to continue to do that. Of course, we're looking to add more functionalities into our existing strong uh, offering. So in the next uh, 12 to 24 months, you will see a lot of new partnerships coming out. You will see a lot of new technologies in our offering being, uh, being implemented. So that's uh, on the Tele2 side of things. If we look at IoT, you know, I think uh, this industry is hyped. Uh, everyone is talk talking about it. Gartner, Ovum, Butler, Analysis Mason, you name it. Everyone is uh, putting Internet of Things or Internet of Everything, the top of uh, all of the hyped industries. Now, in my opinion, you know, I've been doing this for close to 15 years. This industry is very much the same as it was 15 years ago. The big difference is that it's now structured. All the big companies are in it. The smaller customers uh, are starting to implement these types of solutions, not only the big boys. What we will see is a mass adoption. That is the big shift that is going to take place. Uh, you are going to see a lot of uh, acquisitions in the space. Operators buying other um, connectivity players. You're going to see technology players buying each other and coming together. You saw that with ThingWorks and Axida being uh, acquired. You know, so there's going to be a lot of acquisitions because um, there are too many players in the space. So those are the big, uh, big changes that will happen. And from um, where the money is, of course, you know, that, that is going to uh, fluctuate. Today, everyone is focused on big data and analytics. Of course, that is going to be a big part. I think a piece that is um, undervalued at the moment is the data distribution part. Because, of course, you can generate a lot of uh, data, you can analyze the data, but unless you actually distribute the result of that analysis to the right person at the right time to do the right action, you are not going to have a successful IoT implementation. So I think companies such as SAP and Salesforce are going to come into play strong. Uh, Microsoft is going to be there as well to be able to uh, take care of the data distribution part. Well, the IoT World Forum 2014 is, uh, has been a great event. I think the, probably the greatest event over the year. Uh, this is not uh, specifically a customer event, and I don't think it should be. This is an industry event where you meet your partners, you meet your competitors, you gauge from analysts and other uh, partners what they're actually doing in this space. You're starting to formalize your own strategy, you compare notes. So I think it's been a great, uh, great event. Uh, it's much larger than last year, and I hope to uh, see it grow next year again.